Hey guys, Rexasaur here, and welcome to World of Tanks! Woo! I just stole Crap Hunter's introduction! Heh <laughs> <laughs> Basically, this, uh, I've basically, we're not doing any multiplayer this week because Jake's on holiday again for like the third time this freaking holiday. Um, so I'm just gonna show you some World of Tanks stuff. So I'm just gonna go through my garage and I'm gonna do a few battles. Uh, this is my IS 8. I've recently researched everything bar the IS 7, which I will be casually going for. With the IS-3, I grinded it so heavily to get the IS-8, I started really despising it. But now, I'm sort of I'm back to liking the IS-8, so uh, the IS-3, so it's all good. And um, the IS-8, I absolutely adore this thing. Um, it's it's a very precise tank. It's not something you can just E-75 uh, charge in and not suffer many hits. It's a precision tank, a tank that is uh, you know very. You know, you, you can't. Ju it's not a tank where you can just get in the middle and not die. It's it's because it's weakly armored and everything. Anyway, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you a game in the T1 Cunningham, a tier one tank, and a game in my B1, my tier four French tank, which I'm trying to upgrade to get the Lehman Russ or the BDRG1B. But it's a Lehman Russ because it's fucking Lehman Russ. Jesus Christ, that gun makes it look like a battle cannon. And that's that. The only thing that doesn't have a last cannon, which would be awesome. Um, also, I have researched the SU-100, but I am going to wait a while before getting it. Although, I think it's on sale, and I'm not sure, but that looks on sale, and I might have to get it very soon. But yeah, I probably will be getting that, because it's amazing, and it has an IS gun on it. So, you know, why not? But anyway, let's get started. Let's go in the T1 Cunningham. And let's start murderizing people. Murderizing. So the T1 Cunningham is a tier 1 tank, so it's kind of bad because all tier 1s are bad, but it's the best tier 1 in my opinion. It's also the tier 1 that is used in Clan Wars. Um, and we're in a very bad game. But it's used because it's really fast. Oh, and we're one of the best players there. Awesome. It's really fast, and it does so much, it does enough damage. Uh, for a whole clip to kill other tier 1s, including the T1, which is used in Clan Wars. So, it's a great scout tank uh, for, you know, in Clan Wars. Um, but that's pretty much it. This tier, this tank, not really special. It has very low health. It's just faster than every other tier 1. Um, so, this is Province. This is a tier 1 map, which you can never see above tier 2. You might see a tier 3. I can't remember. There's a lot of medium ones here, mostly because they've got a derp gun now. I, d I can't remember if they had one before, but that, I uh, call it a derp gun, it's not exactly a derp gun, it has, it does a lot of firepower, right, let's go, oh man, I have a lag, <sighs> I don't know why it's lagging so much, there we go, so we're just going to go past these Chinese version of the French Renault FT, I'm going to dive down here, try not to die, Whee! I recently got a uh, top gun in the Panzer II, which is a tier 2, and has a weaker version of this gun, so I'm hoping to replicate this. And there's another tier 1 here, T1, sorry. So what we're going to do is try and get this L tractor. I cannot get it. This tank is definitely my favourite tier 1. Yeah, I forgot to tell you, this is an autoloader, or a flat cannon, I should say. Um, it's um, more about how much damage you can do to piss off other players, more than how much damage it does per shot. That was a bad idea, I don't know why I went up there. No! That's why that was a bad idea. Right, I'm going to fall back. Oh, my God, this good. Oh, I can get this out tractor. Come on, baby. I can't get this out tractor. Now I can. And that's why this gun is awesome. <laughs> As you can see, I practically destroyed that guy in one like shot. Might as well have been one shot. I'm going to go for this guy next. He's dead. And then this dude. Right, I'm going to back up. I'm going to try and go for the kill. Someone else is probably going to take this kill. And then again, probably not. We actually have a team kill on our team. Oh, I got fucked. Oh, I do apologise by the harsh language. 
But yeah, get a T1. I got three kills in it just now. Just from sitting still. I'm gonna wait for my team to just go up there. I'm gonna hope that they all get killed and I'm gonna go up there on Right, time to drive. I do apologize for the frame rate loss. This game um, is taking quite a bit of energy to be recorded. There's a MS1 up there. I got a seven kill game in that tank. It's one of my first top guns. Just thought I'd let you know. Uh, my allies are practically taking care of that dude, so I can very casually go up here. There's a medium one somewhere. Oh, he's up there. Uh, so yeah, tier one tanks, no good at all. Oh, 33. This is the best I've ever recorded a game, except for Shogun 2. And there's a medium one. I've lit him up for the friends or enemies. He's dead. Gonna reload, gonna stay still. There's no point in me going forward while I'm reloading, because I'm probably just going to get buggered. However, now might be a good time. This L tractor, I have not taken any damage. That is surprising. I might go for the top gun. Obviously, this is a tier one. I am trolling like hell because everyone else is fucking crap. He's dead. I've taken 10, 20 damage. And I'm on five kills. I am gonna have a, t a um, top gun. Um, it's impossible for me not to, really. Um, I know this sounds really cocky, but if I get derped right now, which is very impossible, <laughs> there's the MS1, medium one. Sorry, I'm gonna go for him. There you go, top gun. Oh, I didn't get him. Oh, lousy. So I'm going to wait for the reload, it also means that I'm going to disappear from the map from the other players, and there goes one of our tanks. So now I'm going to go first. I am fast, which is one of the main amazingness of this tanks. Go for this dude. Don't dirt me. Got him. Top gun, there we go. Now I've got my top gun, I'm going to just rush forwards. Go behind this rock here. I'm going to try and scout some tanks. I have quite a good view range. Not seeing anyone, so I'm just going to go forward. They're probably all behind the province, uh, the actual abbey or church or whatever it is. Um, I'm just going to scroll around here. I've never had this much of a good game actually in the T1. Oh, there's an MS1. So I'm going to reload. He's actually going to turn around. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, he's got a gun. Yeah, thank God for the L tractor being there. We're taking a lot of damage from him. So now that that's happened, I'm going to go into here quickly. Let's see if anyone's here. Don't think there is. Nope, no one's here. I'm gonna try and spot from this area. Oh, there's a T1 down there. Can't get him, obviously, but I've sp he's been spotted. There's no one else down here. Oh, there's an MS1 here as well. Oh, an L tractor. Fuck. That guy's also getting the top gun. If he gets the seventh kill, I will have lost my top gun. So I'm going to rush down, trying to get the MS1. Hopefully find the an AFK medium one as well. Great. Nope, it's not going to happen. I'm instead just going to have this MS1 here. Which I'm going to steal the kill from. Seven kills, there's a medium one. Where is he? Where is he? Where was he? I am reloading. I'm gonna wait until reload. There he is. He's now mine. Damn it. I might not be able to kill him in one shot. I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna attempt the reload. I don't want this L tractor sticking my top gun off me. I'm gonna try and side scrape even though this tank can't. Oh, he can't come in one shot, thank god. Yeah, no! No! You stole my kill! Ah! Uh. Right, we're gonna see... <laughs> that was... Damn it! Why? Right, let's see who got the top gun. I did! Yeah! So, um... Stole the top gun. That was... A steal and a half. Got 1,012 XP. I got so much more XP than him. I did so much more damage. That's probably why. Um, yeah, I did spotting damage as well, I think. Oh, I got a lot more penetrations as well. 
I spotted two and got yeah he didn't get any spotting damage. Well, he got barely any spotting damage. So yeah, there we go. That's how you get a top gun in the T1. Um, this is a very good tank. I just have it just for the troll. Um, I know it's a bit mean being having being a tier nine player in a tier one game, but you just want to troll with this thing. Um, and it's it is the best tier one. Obviously, you have to go for all the tier ones to um, get to like. I need you need to go through the MS1 to get all of these, and you need to go through the FT to get all these. And in my opinion, every tier one is really good in their own different way, except for the medium one, which is a pile of shit. Except with the derp gun, which is a derp gun, so it's that's why it's a pile of shit. Anyway, we're gonna go B1 now. Uh, this is starting to lag tremendously. That's okay. Uh, we're gonna try and get our times two to try and get this thing out of the way. So here we go, second game. Hopefully, it'll be a good one. Oh. Um, the B1 actually gets special matchmaking. I didn't actually know that. There we go. You only ever see tier 5 games or below. We're right, apparently we're going to lose this one. Uh, that's because we have only red players and they have two LTP drivers, which are good. They have three good players on their team. Um, I'm still better than them, but I'm not bragging or anything. Um, I just. The stats say so, so I must be. Um, but yeah. So, there's actually. For tier 5. Three, that's a pretty good matchup for a lot of tier threes. It's a good matchup. The only issue is the SU seventy six on their team is amazing. But yeah, the B one is absolutely awful. It has only sixty six penetration. On the premium ninety eight is very good, but it's premium, so I try not to use it. This is probably the best matchup I've ever seen for this tank, uh, which is a lie. I have seen slightly better, uh, but it's still pretty good. To the point where this gun, right? Uh, this is why I, I. The only reason I'm going for the B1 is to go up to the AMX uh, 5100, which is amazing. Um, but this, the t the gun on this tank, cannot pen the front of this tank, or the side of this tank, and barely the rear of this tank. Um, however, it can pen the rear of a BDR, which um, I actually did in a tier five game. Um, on what's it called? On uh, Sacred Valley. Not Sacred Valley. So there's a the Sexton just being a complete stupid idiot. Uh, there's the LTPs. I'm gonna take those out first. If you look, 7k fucks a lot. I sold my LTP. I thought it was a waste of space. It was a really bad tank. Right. So they're actually all going through the center. Um, I haven't played this map on a tier four game really in a very long time, so I can't really. Electo, I can actually get him from here, so I'm going to. This tank is quite fast firing. Oh fuck. Uh lag. So there's an LTP. I'm taking quite a bit of damage. I am assuming the thing that's hitting me is an SU-76 rapid fire. Or the T-40. But the Valentine is taking quite a hard hit, so it must be. Oh, there's the T-50. You're an idiot. One of the pros of this thing is that it's freaking well armoured. Like, a lot of armour on that thing. I'm gonna go for this LTP or something. Hopefully, an LTP. Yep. Right, we are taking a lot more damage again. This is the Electo this time, I can tell from the direction of the shot. Now he can snipe my Capola, and I don't want that to happen, but... I am actually the only person on this side, I don't want to run away. Because I'm going to die otherwise. But as you can see, this tank is very hard to play with. You're slow, you don't have a good gun. It's fast firing, and tier 4, it's it's good at tier 4. Anything above, you're really crap. But as you can see, it doesn't do enough damage to really bother anyone. So I'm just going to move around. Our, our artillery is doing awful. Um, you don't have any depression, Jesus. Enemy armor is destroyed. Him. Can I get the front of this Valentine? No, you can barely get the front of the Valentine. Oh, that's a T40 pinging me on the back. Yeah, that was always going to happen, so... That was an eh game. I got the most kills on my team. It's not really something to be happy about, really. Uh, but their LTPs are dead, but their Valentine... Oh, I didn't realize their Valentine was actually... 
a good player either. Um, right, um, I'm going to show you one more game. I actually got something. What's that? Electronic Tank Company. I'm good, thank you. I'm going to play in my Black Prince. I got this after the Churchill um, 2. The uh, Churchill 7. Churchill 2. What the hell? What kind of tank is that? The Churchill 7 um, thingy. What's it called? Replay? No. Review. There we go. And this tank is actually really good. <laughs> when I said it's really fast, it's not. It weighs so much more that it's not fast at all. You are faster than the Churchill 7 though, so it's all good. And you have a very good gun, which I've just got. So yeah. Uh, I was using the Churchill 7 gun for most of the time. It's a good tank. It's a good gun as well. This tank has so much armor, it's lovely. You've got spaced armor on both sides of your tracks before your armor. It's it's beautiful. Um, so we're just going into a game. Loading up. There we go. Um, so apparently we're going to win this. But as you can see, you've got spaced armor there. As well as more spaced armor if you hit that side. Oh, it's beautiful. Alright, it's encountered, so I'm going to go into the town. Uh, because I'm not fast enough to go anywhere else. But the turret traverse, look at that. It's so good for a very slow tank. I find that with most of the Churchill tanks, you've got really slow turret. A lot of people are going into town. That's not really too much of a problem, but, you know. Ah, dear. And you've got so much health. 14,000. 1,400, sorry. 1,450. That's the same as an upgraded Tiger tank. So, and you don't get an upgraded turret on this thing. That's fine. Yeah, everyone's going in here. So we're gonna rush it apparently. I think that's a wise thing to do. This tank can take so much punishment as well. Right, sadly we're not looking after the zero line, but I don't think that's much of an issue. Um, really. There's a T seventy one it's going across. Right, it died, just you know, for the laws. M5 shoot as well, M5. Yeah, just the M5. We have the M5A1, which is the best of the two. Chinese know how to operate. There's a Tiger over there. This is actually an averagely okay matchup for a tier 8 game. Uh, they don't have an IS-3 or a KB-5. There's the AMX-5100. Um, they have that, which is amazing. I absolutely adore that thing. I really want it. Oh, the Tiger's on the other side. Oh, there's a Matil. I'm going to go that way. There's the AMX... M4. I'm going to wait here. Make sure the Matilda doesn't. I'm not sure if that, but I missed. I'm never going to get that. Yeah, they're they're fine. Uh, looks like the IS is going to go around as well as the Indian Panzer. Oh man, I should have gone. Oh, there is someone sniping me through the way. Oh, why am I not? That is a very bad position, that is. There we go. I'm in the invincibility position right now, angled. I'm going to angle myself like this. Right, I'm going to side scrape here. There we go. Oh, they have a Churchill 7 as well. Awesome. Right, I took out this guy's tracks. He's taken out my tracks, he didn't do any damage though. So I'm just going to hit. Just keep hitting them, really. This is a fast running gun, very good. I'm gonna go for the controller. Really, that's where I'm going, but I can't really get it. Maybe the top of the turret. Oh, there's my shoulder. Mine. We've got this in the bag. There's the Churchill 7. There's a Panther 2 up there. I'm gonna try and go for the controller. No, I'm keep going for the Churchill. This tank can take so much damage. Right, there goes the Churchill 7, I'm going to go for the M4, the M945. He's actually doing quite a bit now, actually. I'm going to angle a bit more. That's actually really good angling. He was getting me in the turret. Oh, he's getting me there, okay, fair enough. Right, I am going to... They don't need help over here. We're just going to charge down there. There's a VK, 431H, actually doing quite a bit of damage. There's a Panther 2. For it to just go forward. No, stupid accidental right clicks. So all they got is a one turn Panther 2, both of them up here. Uh, the Panther 2 is a good player. 
as you saw this tank I did 919 damage to it it's not a lot of damage it isn't really the best game but I took I did take quite a bit of punishment the um, M445 really did a lot of damage though and there we go I just took a bounce again I'm going to scoot out of bed try and get this try and get hopefully I won't die that would be all, that would be embarrassing there we go taking a ricochet I'm gonna go this way around Enough. I bounced. I can't. I don't know where I'm aiming on that thing. Nah, I'm not aiming. Good. I think I'm. Got him. You deserve that. Two kills. There you go. Done 1,100. Oh, they're all dead. All right. There we go. Good game. Um, joint second most kills. Quite a bit of damage, and took a lot of, took a lot of punishment. Let's see how good we get. We also... Oh, we got Spartan and Steel Wall. We got quite a good experience, actually, Threshold there. Um, if we look at our experience, we did... Oh, we didn't do that good. We didn't We didn't do that much damage either. Um, but it was quite close, actually, damage-wise. But yeah, this tank, really actually quite enjoying this tank. It's quite nice. Um, and I got... How much did I get? 702. That's not incredible. And how well did we do in the... B1, yeah, we lost. I wasn't expecting a win in that thing. Not with that kind of stuff. Uh, but we got the most experience. Um, not the most damage, though. But yeah, I wasn't expecting, really. Uh, oh, we got enough to get our gunner something. We are going to give him repairs. Because we need it. We don't really need it, but after that, I'm going to swap it out for something. Right, so thanks for watching guys, I think that'll be it for today, I'm obviously going to play on my own for a while, um, but really, that's that's it for today, really, um, I'm going to try and get this radio for the Black Prince, and then go for the Carnarvon, that's a lot of experience that costs, but this, this tank is really what I'm going for, this gun is beast, so, so beast, um, even that gun is, is pretty beast as well, but not obviously not as good that one, but... There's barely any difference, actually. Actually, what is the difference? Difference is... Rate of fire is slightly better. Accuracy is 0.1... Wow, that is really good base accuracy. And the aiming time is much better. But, Jesus. That, guys, that is absolutely amazing accuracy. You never see 0.3. That is... What is the point in that one? Oh, I assume just to get that quicker. Obviously, I'll be going for that one, but what is the point? Why do they both cost the same? They both cost the same research points. What the? F that's really weird. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, anyway. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going for. Conqueror. I will absolutely adore the Conqueror when I get that. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I'll have more World of Tanks on you on the way. Um, just random battles, I think I'll be doing more of that. I'll probably be doing it with platoons. Um, I was hoping to do it with my brother, but he's got a bit of problems right now. But uh, Computer problems, we'll get those working. And then, yeah, tanking all day. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and ta -ra.